Ram, an album by the married couple Paul and Linda McCartney. It's just a little bit cute. A few of you asked me to react to it for the first time, so that is what I'm doing. And similar to the wall video, I'm gonna choose a song that I wanna do a singing cover of at the end of the video. So let's get to it. First up, we have Too Many People. Very like mysterious bass line. Apparently some of these lyrics were a dig at John Lennon by Paul, like this one. Paul felt John and Yoko were telling everyone what to do and I felt we didn't need to be told what to do, hence these lyrics. So if Paul McCartney admitted to subtly jabbing John in the lyrics, does that extend to the music? The bass line heard here To my ears, borrows from the harmonic major scale and sounds influenced by Eastern music, something the Beatles did often. I could be reading way too much into this, but I wonder if the music is also a jab to John Lennon. Okay. Potentially that could be a singing cover song. I think it's like the classic thing to start an album with an upbeat song, just gets people energized. And now onto the next song, Three Legs. Really don't know what to expect with that title. <laughs> I don't get the metaphor. <laughs> Sorry. My thought was so the fact that your dog has three legs is a good thing because it can't run away and therefore can't abandon you. Is that is that is that the point? Next up we have Ram on. There's not much bass in this song, which keeps it feeling very like floaty to me, especially with the ukulele, it helps it feel very floaty. That was really interesting to me sonically. Definitely a singable option. I know like four chords on the ukulele, so if it uses those four chords, it's a very potential option for me. But no, they had to use a B flat minor chord. This is too sophisticated for me on the ukulele. Maybe piano could be a good option. Next up we have Dear Boy. Guess she never knew, dear boy, that she was just the cutest thing around. Guess she never saw dear This sounds like a Beatles song. Like this could so be on like rubber salt. Like that's, it sounds like it would fit that vibe. I love the doubling with the piano and guitar. Uncle Albert slash Admiral Halsey. But the question is, can they compare to Mr. Kittle? what I'm dying to know. <laughs> it's a medley, so I'm assuming it's gonna change moods and tempos and everything a lot. Are they being cats now? <laughs> it totally sounded like meow, okay? Nice mood change. Next up, we have Smile Away. It's like a distortion sound in there. It's unusual. I don't know what to say. <laughs> so. Up next we have Heart of the Country. Straight up I liked this song. I think it's simple and fun. So I found it in music when a critic said the song was the lowest point of the album. I think that one definitely has singing potentials, like a nice melody. Monkberry Moon Delight. 
It's so interesting how differently he can use his voice. I think I'm being honest, I don't really know what this means, these lyrics, but the music is very enjoyable and the melody is very nice to me. I really like it. So let's break it down because it's amazing how simple it is. By the way, simple is not bad. The song is in C minor, and so the song starts with the root chord, C minor, played in a staccato way, with the bass notes playing the 1 and 5 of the C minor chord, which is C and G. We then keep this up when we go through the chord progression, but what musically interests me is the use of an ostionato, a repetitive musical phrase that adds interest but doesn't overtake the main melody. Here is the ostionato for the song. The ostinato changes to harmonically match the chord progression and it's just a simple way to add complexity in a song. Gotta be real, I wasn't expecting a song called Monk Berry Mean Delight to be one of my favourites, but currently it's up there. There's something about that chord progression that's just like hitting really hard. I very much enjoy that one. Next up, Eat At Home. Next up, Long Haired Lady, a song about Paul's love for his wife. Aww. And then we have another song called Ramon. From the same album, but it's different. I don't know if it's like going to be a reprise or don't know what to expect. <laughs> it's a really interesting choice to have that on the album. I feel like this was a jam session and they just thought it sounded cool, so they kept it in. <laughs> Sounds like a film score at the moment. <laughs> I feel like this song has gone through like four different styles of music so far. So the interesting thing about this to me is that it's obviously Paul and Linda McCartney, but it's my first time hearing Paul's music without the Beatles being part of the Beatles. And it's interesting because there are definitely characteristics in his own music that you're like, oh, this is so clearly evident in Beatles songs as well. The changing of moods and tempos within songs that it sometimes sounds like two, three songs in one, something that Beatles have done very often as well. He played around with his voice far more in terms of the moments where he was really trying to sound like Elvis, at least to my ears, where I know he used to do that in the Beatles songs, but I feel like there would only be like maybe one time he would do that on the entire album, whereas in this album he did that a bit more. There were some things that were really sonically interesting. They seemed to play around with creating hypnotic, almost focused more on the higher range and didn't have too much bass and it just helped to keep things feeling quite light to me. There are a lot of options in this to choose in terms of singing. All right, I thought about it. This is the song I've decided to do. Ramon, give your heart to somebody. Oh 